Hey guys, what's going on? So first up on our other channel, Toby the Terrier, we have two new videos posted. So if you're all interested in seeing cute puppy footage, click on the link below for Toby the Terrier. So today I just wanted to do a brief update on our flock. We've had Munchie downstairs for a few weeks now and all three birds are being let out together regularly. And Munchie is fitting in just fine. Um, there was a little adjustment period while he got used to the other birds and got used to flying around in the space but now he's completely adjusted. He's actually a little slower coming out of the cage. Hello, birds. We're waiting for, oh goodness, you waiting for Munchie to come out? Munchie, come on out. It just takes him a while, don't worry. He's still in his cage. We opened the cages a few minutes ago to do this video and Pillow and Pearl came right out as they always did. And Munchie's taking his time, which is completely normal. There he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> but when he does come out, it is a flurry of feathers and chirping and birds flying in circles. It's sort of pandemonium, but it's a lot of fun. It's fun to see. And it's really fun to watch Munchie because Pillow and Pearl just fly around and around. They fly laps. They're very energetic. And Munchie's just doing his best to keep up. Um, you see a white blur go by and a, a yellow green blur go by. And then you hear and you see a blue blur just kind of coming along behind. And it's really fun. And it's really nice to see Munchie just getting along with everybody. Oh, Munchie to come Yeah. Want Munchie to come down and play with you? Munchie. Munchie always finds every little square inch he can grab onto. A lot of flapping and flying every which way around here. Oh, it's so hard to even film anybody. It's so hard to even film. Everybody's everywhere. Yeah, you're sliding down my head. Now, Munchie and Pillow, as predicted, have become good friends. And Pillow and Pearl, as predicted, have remained good friends. Now, Munchie and Pearl sort of just tolerate each other. They're not really buddies or anything yet, um, but hey, they just tolerate each other. They can be around each other without anybody getting too cranky. That's a start. Now, one thing we were a little concerned about when we brought a new budgie home was that Pearl might feel jealous. Um, obviously, two budgies together are probably going to bond and become friends, and we were afraid that Pearl might feel a little left out. Now, like I said, Pillow and Pearl are still good friends, um, but because Pillow now has his attention divided, Pearl is getting a little less attention from Pillow. In some ways, I think this is probably a good thing for Pearl. Um, sometimes Pillow can be a little bit of a pest, and often Pearl seems to be trying to create a little space um, between her, her himself and Pillow, and Pillow is always kind of right there, like, hi, 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 while Pearl is trying to get away. So in some ways, this is probably good for Pearl, that Pillow is not right up in her face every minute. Uh, but just to make sure that Pearl doesn't feel at all left out, we schedule some time to have just Pearl out. Usually in the morning when Brendan's doing his online schooling, I just have her on my shoulder and we just spend a little quality time together while the other two birds are still in their cage. Now to go along with Pillow and Munchie being buddies, um, Pillow has once or twice actually gone into Munchie's cage. So Pillow has gone in to join Munchie in his cage. Pearl's hanging out on the outside. Pearl, I don't think you're gonna fit in that cage. <laughs> oh no! Pearl, you're in. So Pillow has sometimes gone into Munchie's cage, and I know Pillow probably recognizes it as his old cage and thinks, oh hey, I'm back in this place again. Now this cage that Munchie's in right now is the temporary cage. Eventually they're gonna be caged together, but still, while they're, there's still an adjustment period, so we're keeping Munchie in this cage. It's a little on the small side, but they all spend a lot of time outside of the cage, so we figure it's not as big a deal. And a reminder, as always, if you enjoy these videos, if you find them helpful or entertaining at all, just hit that like button below and hit the subscribe button as well. What's your vegetables? Mmm, arugula. Come on, Munch, come eat some vegetables. Munchie does not always participate in everything as readily as Pillow and Pearl. We'll often put little plates of vegetables down on the table for the birds to come over and snack on, and Pillow and Pearl come right over and eat, and Munchie has yet to do that. Uh, I think Munchie is not quite familiar with the vegetables. We give him vegetables to eat in his cage every night, but he's not yet come out to the table to partake of the vegetables with Pillow and Pearl. One other 
weird little side note about Munchie that we've noticed is that Munchie sleeps in an incredibly odd position. He sleeps at the very top of his cage with his little legs, one leg gripping the side of the cage, one leg gripping his little ring toy, and he just hangs there suspended and closes his eyes and goes to sleep. And the other night I even noticed him hanging there like that with his head behind his wing. And he just seems to like hanging there instead of sitting on a perch, just hanging suspended at the top of his cage. And I don't know when he started doing this because when he was up in Brendan's room, we would cover the cage every night, turn off the lights and leave the room when Brendan went to bed. Now that he's downstairs, we're up a little bit later. So we're seeing him a little bit longer and we just see him start doing this. So I don't know when it started. I don't know why he does this. If anybody has any clues or your birds do anything along the same lines, let us know in the comments below because we're really curious. on your face. <laughs> Santa might be bringing them some new toys for Christmas. You think so? I think so. I think you could use a few new toys. He's on my other foot. Three birds on my feet. So that is our update of the flock as of this week. If you have any ideas for videos with the new flock, leave them in the comments below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.